Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Well, it is a great view inside Wembley. It gives it that special feeling no matter which match it is hosting. And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. Well, that was impressive. Match that. high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. So it's away we go then. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte. He's a centre back who's one of the best in the business. Immobile hits it! There it is! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. High quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Spain didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Jordi Alba with the crossfield ball. Out to the left it goes. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Spain get it back again. Referee has just said play on. Pablo Sarabia. Marco Verratti. Now it's 
in move in move it's in Sinia and here's in Sinia in move and the shot oh nearly but nearly is nothing Immobile. Just denied by a lick of paint. We're talking centimetres. Spain are experts at this stylish possession-based game. Well, we're talking tiki-taka. Uh, a lot of short, crisp passing, and, and once the ball is lost, they quickly try to win it back. Pablo Sarabia, Verratti with the foul. Clears it out of harm's way. That's the through ball, cuts it out. Berardi hoists it forward. Immobile hits it! Forward it goes. And it's Morata. Drop going for goal! Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter. Once he got into that position, it's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Llorente gets it back. Laporte. Italy scored early, of course, and the score is 1 0. And here's Morata. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Llorente. He's made sure that that won't get through. Laporte. And it's played forward. Pablo's chance! Back of the net! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. I just thought that was going to hit the outside of the post for a moment there, but it just curled enough to catch the inside for a very good strike. the equaliser and we're all square oh look Peter I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved well positioned to make that into Llorente As Pliqueta goes looking, tried to play it through, uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Over to the left. Oh, well, it, Laporte with a definite fell there.
plenty of power on that. Jordi Alba. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Jordi Alba plays it forward quickly. Ferran Torres. Played into the header. Oh, that is a great stop. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Ferran Torres tries to strip has a hit and that's it for the first half a breathless ending what it has been an even contest as the scoreline suggests and it has been more than decent to watch so we reach the halfway point well for us neutrals this is fantastic if you're a fan from either side it's unpleasant and as for the managers check your heart rate they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. So we're just settling back into this second half. No changes at half-time that we're aware of. Ferran Torres. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Goes for goal! Hits one! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. It's Immobile. Immobile unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. That's Pelicueta. And here's Morata. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Chiesa absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Now it's Insigne. And here's Morata. Jordi Alba. Immobile is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. Deftly done. Raspilicueta. Laporte. Gem! An absolute gem! And they get themselves in front! A momentary lapse exploited with glee.
Italy take the lead. Laporte. Ferran Torres. Florenti demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Immobile. Insignia with a shot. That's for the pressure. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. That is as far as they're going to go. That's been paid to a promising move. Laporte tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba plays it forward. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Jorginho gets it back. Spain are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And the shot! It's there! Spain are all square! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net very much a lesson learned for a change in personnel <laughs> so all square and not for the first time Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is... He's had a goal! Danger averted for now. And here's Insignia. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Now it's Insignia. Oh, that is asking for trouble. And oh! Goal at his mercy and somehow he's missed it. Immobile fully appreciates that he could have won it then and now he'll be all the keener not to lose it. Laporte tries to get it forward quickly. A game with so much to recommend it. Fabulous contest. But and here's Morata. Chiellini battles to win it back. Spain merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Jorginho with the challenge and he has given away a free kick. Jordi Alba. Foot in. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Another chance from a corner. And it's been taken short. And here's Pablo Sarabia. Down by a 
lack of accuracy. Just brushed off the ball there. Into stoppage time, whistle due any moment. Immobile, who has made his impact already. And here's Pablo Sarabia. It is going to need 30 more minutes. No winner after 90. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find the winner. They just cancelled each other out. So 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. And we are already back underway. Italy conceded an equaliser late on. Now they have to do it all again. Do they have what it takes? Lorenzo Insigne. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Hoists it forward. Pablo Sarabia. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Chiesa, with good energy in defence as well. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk... And they've been caught out here! A chance! The Mobley showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. That's Pilaqueta. Very well to intervene. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's played forward. Lorenzo Insigne, Marco Verratti. A real chance missed. <laughs> Goes for goal! And with that, we've reached the halfway point of extra time. Well, there may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. And we're off for the final time. They have played themselves to a near standstill. What is left in the tank now? Ferran Torres, up to meet it! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Jordi Alba and it's Jordi Alba just brushed off the ball there ball's loose, who's getting there? Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge Plays it out to the wing. Thiago. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, he's in! It's Morata! Spectacular from Morata! And that may just do it! Spain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Well, I think you can write this lot off at your peril. It's been a joy to watch them hold themselves right back into it. Now, can they hang on?
He's looked long this time. And he heaves it forward. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Good ball. Looking to break out here. He's one on and the finish! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Great leap! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Pablo Sarabia. Gaia. Now the cross. Marco Verratti. Fabian Ruiz. Pablo Serra has a pop! Oh, great save, real class. And that will be the final act. Italy just couldn't get it off. They let their opponents back into it and let it get away. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Italy just may have felt a little extra pressure in front of their own fans that caused a, a nervousness and tension. Well, that's it from us. Thanks very much, Jim. It's a very good day to you from both of us.